Oh my word, look at this. <laughs> it's like a bicycle rickshaw. It's so cute. Let's go and see how much we can rent it for. Yeah, they have a sign here yeah? saying for rent. A um, thousand to a thousand five hundred, depending on how long. Well, let's see if they'll rent it to us. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Is this bicycle thing for rent? Yes. We can rent it? Yes. At a good price? Uh, half an hour, hour 1,000. Half an hour, 1,000. Then one hour, 1,500. And that's your best price? <laughs> this price. Is that the price? Hey? Can I have it for half an hour, please? Okay, sir. Yes. Thank okay. you. Uh, can you give me an ID card? An ID card? Yes. ID no problem. Card. Okay, sir. I keep it here. Okay. okay you come back. I'll come okay. back. Hey. Yes. So I have a half an hour from now. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so we've got this thing for rent. <laughs> Which side do you want to sit, left or right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> this, one, this one is a brake. That one's the brake. This okay. Break. Uh, this one is. This pedal, two pedals. Okay. And this one we wheel. That one steers. Yes. Can this one as well? Uh, or only yes. This one? this one is main. The main one. one. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll sit this side. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. And around the enjoy. No problem. And where's the keys to start it? Yes. We, this one. <laughs> oh, it's just a bow. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Do they stop? This one. That's the brake. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Hey. Let's climb on. <laughs> This is really so cool. What do you even call this thing? It's like a, a bicycle rickshaw. Look at this, you have like a steering wheel here and a steering wheel there. That's the brake. Danny's even got a bell on his side. Ding, ding, ding. The only thing is there's no uh, gear change. So <laughs> this is probably the fastest we can go. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding a bicycle here and there's space for another person where we've just put our bag. Yeah, if I turn my steering wheel, your steering wheel doesn't move. Oh, no, but you got to move. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I almost feel like I fell out there. <laughs> but what a cool way to explore this area. If you saw our last video, we're staying in the Gold Fort area and we haven't had time to actually explore this area. So today we're going to go and explore within the walls of the Gold Fort. Ooh. <laughs> and this is a popular tourist area, so we're going to go and see what it has to offer and hopefully go and eat some Sri Lankan food too. Oh, I'm already tired. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall out of this thing because I'm like half hanging out if you could see. <laughs> yours does absolutely nothing. I think you have to stop staring on yours. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> This is this so is cool. Really cool. Check how beautiful the architecture is around here. We have all of the old walls over here. So you can see we're definitely within the walls of this fort. And the streets are all paved. This is really so cool. I think we can ride up there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it feels so weird not being in control of this thing. I'm just pedaling. <laughs> okay, I want to steer for a little bit. Okay, steer. Okay. Mine doesn't work. <laughs> There's a car behind us, baby. Okay. <laughs> Mine doesn't work. You're gonna have to steer. Hello, okay, brother. <laughs> Ooh, Dude, mine baby. doesn't work. <laughs> the steering wheels are done. <laughs> so I guess I'm just the peddler. I'll be the motor. You can be the the guide. <laughs> so this fort area was originally uh, built by the Portuguese, but it was mainly fortified by the Dutch. So I think most of the architecture that we're going to see around here is by the Dutch people. And I mean, you can really see it right over here. It's kind of got a Dutch style. <laughs> over there, you've got a little bit of the Portuguese style with the white walls and the red roof. <laughs> we're on the wrong side. Oh gosh, we need to return. Sorry, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And check how beautiful it is all over here. <laughs> okay. Is this chaos? This is chaos. This is pretty scary that I'm not in control of this. Yeah, it's a little bit more of what the architecture looks like around here. And then we also have a lighthouse down there. I should not be driving and filming at the same no, time, eh? Shouldn't. <laughs> Shall I drive? Wait, he has the brakes. Okay, swap. Let's swap, otherwise Leanne's gonna have a mild heart attack. <laughs> Okay, let's go. We're gonna go through the streets over here just to go and explore and see what it looks like. 
We've only been walking here through night and it looks very beautiful at night. Oh, wow, check this. Oh my gosh, this feels weird not being able to turn. It does, right? Okay, yeah. there's a bump, watch out. Go faster over the bump. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, don't go faster over the bump. Uh, Hello, how are you? <laughs> Wow, this looks to be a mosque. Yo, check how beautiful the building is here. Should I turn around so you can see? No, that's fine. I can see it. That is super cool. Yeah, is a lighthouse. We're going to explore this a little bit later. But we only have half an hour with this little baby. So we'll explore the city with this. And then we'll go and check out this lighthouse. And there's just a clock tower within this fort that we want to go and see. There's so many cute little... Uh, shops along the side here and restaurants and it's just it's such a cute area oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gotta go slowly hey <laughs> ow I hit my head on the pole driver you need to go slower or slam brakes I, <laughs> I don't know why I feel the tendency to actually turn and control but Leanne's in complete control <laughs> yeah it's bad check I can't even turn my man you remove the dashboard it's not good <laughs> oh. <laughs> From? I'm from South Africa. Oh, country. The best country in the world. Yeah, I think we actually have a beach in front of us. There's a lot of people there. And I can actually hear the waves. In front of us seems to be a super old building. You can actually see that is a Dutch styled building. Oh, stop, look left, look right. Oh, stop, stop, stop. You can go, brother. Oh, he's gonna have it. You're gonna have to turn that way. Oh snap, you can go, 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 brother. Oh god, oh gosh, oh cheesh! Pedal, pedal, pedal! There we go. Is this uh, I, sh I if you're not pedaling? Sorry, I actually pedaling. need to pedal as well, so we have double force. <laughs> not too far, just okay. a slow pedal. Sorry, baby, I'm excited. <laughs> but yeah, we have an old Dutch building. All white and brown. With all these little shops on the side. He has sugar cocktails. Oh, he has a police barracks, an old Dutch police barracks. You can definitely see the British and Portuguese influence here, as you kind of feel like you're in Europe somewhere going down these streets. This area has been kept up by the Sri Lankan government in order to keep it more modern and stuff, but um, they say there's a lot of British influence here. I don't see. Oh! There's a market, but they say there's a lot of British influence here and um, Sri Lanka gained its independence in 1947 and that's when they really took control of this area and decided to make it their own. But look at this market, they're selling all of these arts and crafts. You have paintings and clothes stores and jewelry stores. It's really, really so cute. And look at these streets. It's just so, so pretty. And I've abandoned <laughs> my driving. <laughs> don't let women drive in Sri Lanka. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm also just getting very excited. Here we have more of the buildings within the fort area. It's so old school. You gotta pedal slowly. Maybe we need, we got you half an hour. So we need fast. to pedal through this area you fast. So fast. I'm not ready to see for an hour. I'm not fit. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Those are the same guys as before. I think they're following us. This is a gate into the fortified city. Oh wow, how cool this go in there, that looks super cool. You wanna go there? Yeah, I'm making okay. a U-turn. Turning. Oh, you gotta help me pedal. Sorry, Thank I you. keep forgetting I need to pedal. Oh, watch this. It's okay. <laughs> I don't wanna land in a ditch. <laughs> a maritime archaeology museum. We're going through a gate here in the fortified city. Oh, Ooh, where's this? Oh, we've just exited the fort walls. Look, here's the fort walls. And now we're outside of the fort walls exploring a little bit of the city. Let's keep going. Pedal, pedal. Are we allowed to ride this thing on the main road? Um, I don't know. Oh, well. Let's just go. If we get in trouble by the police, we get in trouble. <laughs> I don't know if there's another fort wall. Well, then we'll turn around. Gate. But he has more of the fort walls. And he has a beautiful house. There's the ocean. And he has some more people. Hello. Hi. 
Oh, we're actually riding this thing on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is legal. I am sorry if we're breaking some laws here, but this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> and the cycling's actually not that bad. I feel like this has almost got like electric power somewhat because the pedaling isn't too bad. Yeah, I'm the electric power, baby. <laughs> That's what it is. And there we have an entrance down there. But look how pretty these fort walls are here. And over here is the cricket stadium. Oh, oh my gosh, now we're hitting some bad roads. Watch ya. Hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good idea. This is the main fort entrance over here. And look how beautifully well it's kept. Hi, hi. <laughs> So this is the main entrance and I think we're going to go in there to get back into the fort area. Uh, beat this car. Okay, pedal. Pedal, pedal, it's an uphill. How's it, man? Pedal, pedal. Oh my gosh. This is hard. <laughs> but here we are entering the fort again. Oh, I am breaking a sweat. Okay, we're going straight. Straight, 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 brother. There seems to be something happening down this road. Ooh. Hello. Oh, there's a marching band. No ways. How cool is this? A marching band on the streets of the Gulf Fort. I think we're now stuck behind the marching band a little. <laughs> They're all little guys. <laughs> I feel like we're getting escorted now. I feel like we have our own little escort. This is really cool. I think we're part of the parade now. <laughs> it feels like it. There's even a guy there in front that is like the leader. Yeah, go on to the left side. You see? Let's go, let's go. Hello, guys. That's so awesome! <laughs> so here we are back within the fort area and now we'll just show you a street called Peddler Street. It's one of the popular streets here in the fort area. You all we are flying now. Because <laughs> Daniel still keeps pedaling really fast. And that's where most yeah. of the buildings and restaurants and all the nice areas of this golf fort is. Hello! Hello. Good and you! Check an elephant rickshaw, golden elephant rickshaw. <laughs> so this is Peddler Street in front of us. It's a cool, awesome street with so many shops on the left. Hey, Kelly. Bye, Cat. Here are some more shops, a gallery. We have a restaurant here towards the left-hand side. I mean, it's a cute little street. At night, they actually put all the lights on and street lights. So everything has this warm brown light and there's a lot of atmosphere. But you definitely feel like you're in a different city being in this part of the golf ah, fort. Turn that way, turn that way, turn that way. <laughs> okay, we need to get the camera and we block this guy's way. <laughs> <Give me a>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're blocking the entrance. The street as you can see is definitely not made for two cars <laughs> but it's almost coming to the end of our time on this thing so we're gonna have to start heading back towards the shop to give it back <laughs> hello, hello. 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 Uber one. <laughs> our one is hello in the oh gosh <laughs> gee where's danny's flying <laughs> but hello is a uh, uber one here in sri lanka and it's just such a fun way to say hello yeah, you one. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. Hey. <laughs> but it's definitely getting a lot of attraction riding this thing around the town. Everyone's looking at us and smiling and waving. It would be really cool if we could give someone a lift, but I don't think there's enough space. <laughs> okay, here we are. Oh. Danny's a crazy driver. Ooh. What? Oh, we're parked safely. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you. That was fun but hot. <laughs> you enjoy? 
Lots of I'm, fun. Lots of fun, but everybody's looking at me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, Thank eh? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Fun. Yeah. you too. Thank bye you. bye. bye. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now to go and explore the rest of the fort. <laughs> this time by foot, which is quite a lot more boring <laughs> to me. But before we go and do that, I actually want an ice cream because oh, I am yes. dying. It is hot. Didn't we bring water? No. Oh, so, and we're going to get some water. It is death. <laughs> and it's basically almost four o'clock here. So, oh, it's hot here in Sri Lanka. Here we found an ice cream little cart right next to the fort walls. Ooh, where's the guy? Hello, yes, where's this guy? We can walk down there. There's Is he down there? Let's go down there. Is he down there, eh? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll go there down there. Thank you. Thank you. That guy's not standing by his cart, so I guess we'll have to go to another one for some ice cream. <laughs> and there's also not someone here. Let's see, here's this guy. Hello, man, how are you? You have ice cream? Oh, you have Fruluda? Yeah, here we go. Is that Fruluda That's one? Fruluda. Can we get two, please? Oh. Yes, thank you. Do you have the vanilla one? Oh, vanilla Fruluda. That is the vanilla Fruluda. Inside vanilla. Inside vanilla? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's try those. How much one? 60. 120. 120 for two, eh? Hey? Thank you. That's 100, my friend. You have 30 change? No, 20 rupees. Is there 20? Yes. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not oh. supposed to look in my wallet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, a nice pink ice cream. Mm. Oh, this is so good. I don't know, but ice cream in Sri Lanka is damn good. I think this is like the fourth one we have in here. <laughs> and of this brand, because it tastes exactly mm. like Turkish delight, which is amazing. Yeah, look at this. Mm. This is a, I don't know what brand this is, but the, it says Fruluda there, you see Fruluda. Mm -hmm. And this ice cream, like Leanne said, tastes like Turkish delight. And the inside is like a creamy yogurt. Yeah, vanilla flavored. Oh. Oh, and it's so good. Oh. So on hot days like today, we eat ice cream. Yeah. Cheers, ice cream cheers. Cheers. We're going to take a walk now towards the lighthouse to go and check the lighthouse. It's one of the most popular things to check out within this fort area. They have a beach, yeah. Right next to the fort walls. That water looks so inviting. Woo. And actually walk here on the fort walls. There is no fence. I think you do not want to fall down there. But it's actually quite nice that you can walk here. And there's the city within the walls. This is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that there. Oh my it's word. Sad. It's like this massive lizard. Is that like a... What do you call that? I don't even know what you call that. An iguana. Yeah. Is that not an iguana? I don't know. You can see it right there. Should we get close to it? I don't know how safe that is. Oh, it's going to fall off the walls. Check. It's right here on the walls. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> People are scared of this thing. I know they're pretty fast. So I also don't want to get too close. It is huge. I'd say it's about 700 centimeters long. Ah. Oh. Check where the ant is. <laughs> and we have made it to the Gulf Fort Lighthouse. Look at that, that looks so cool with the palm trees and the white lighthouse over there. On the door, if I get closer, it says that it's built in 1938. But I believe that the British actually built this in the mid 1800s and then it actually burned down in 1936 and they had to rebuild it. And that is why over here on the door, it says 1938. Yeah, a gold lighthouse constructed by government factory in 1939 so it was rebuilt in 1939 i don't know why they have 1938 on this door maybe it was still partially there after the fire so there's some significance towards it i believe that they've built it two meters taller than what the original lighthouse was but 
That's a pretty cool lighthouse and this lighthouse is also I think the first lighthouse that was here in Sri Lanka. But it doesn't actually look like you can actually get close to the lighthouse. Would have been cool to get inside but I understand why they restrict it. Whew, we're right at the beach. We found the beach. Yeah. <laughs> we should have worn our swimming costumes and maybe we could have actually gone for a swim but we didn't do that but we'll come and check out the beach anyway. But this is the beach area, got some shade over there and it's quite rocky over there but then there's people swimming over here. Yeah, I did not know there was actual beach area here. While we've been staying here we've basically just been working and not exploring it at all and just saving it for today in order to show you guys and for us to have our first impressions of this place. But if I knew this was here I would have probably come a long time ago because it is hot in Sri Lanka. <laughs> It doesn't look like you can swim too far out. They have like nets over there. I don't know if that's to build like a swimming line or perhaps maybe it's the fishing nets for people to catch some fish. It's to stop the sharks. It could. <laughs> and here we found an old cannon. Do you think this was an original cannon? I have no idea. But what's here? Here's 32224. I don't know what that actually stands for but this has to be an original cannon I wonder if this thing's ever been fired yeah you can see is where they've put in the like the stick that you light and then it lights the gunpowder inside you and shoots through a steel ball 16025 so do you think this is like 1825 or 1725 but there's no month with a zero so maybe it's a serial number towards this I don't know but it's pretty cool there seems to be quite a few cannons here on the fort wall because there's one over there and there's one in front of us as well so it's nice that they've kept the cannons because then it really gives that fort vibe that cannon over there is a lot bigger than the one that we just saw this cannon seems to be built on a wooden type pedestal and it's also got a track so this one could actually swivel so you could point it in a certain direction where that one was a lot smaller now this one you can see is huge it's even got like a degree counter over here so that they can make sure the degree is correct so there must have been something else that was attached here so that you can measure the degree or the angle of the way this was pointing <laughs> this is super cool an old cannon <laughs> imagine being here and having to actually fire this cannon at ships out there like there's a ship on the uh, far end down there I don't think you can actually see it yeah they're in the horizon that's crazy to think these possibly work back in the day so here we've made it to the clock tower within the fort walls that is pretty tall it's said to be as tall as the lighthouse so that means 26.5 meters and check how beautifully kept it is it was actually built in 1883 Oh, tuk tuk so loud. <laughs> I didn't realize tuk tuk could come through here. But the time at the top of the clock tower is not actually right. Yeah, it's, it's saying that it's one o'clock, and right now it's quarter to six. Yeah, 20 to six. Move, tuk tuk. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Noisy. Tuk -tuk. I told him to move. <laughs> so, this clock tower was only built in order to represent a colonial surgeon that was here within Gaul and was born in Gaul. So it falls no part of history other than that. But it's huge. I mean, look at it. It would have been still cool if the clock was right. But there's not much to explore in this fort other than this and the light tower and exploring the city the way that we did. But I think it's now time to go and try some Sri Lankan food. But I have noticed that you can walk on top of the fort walls here and yeah. overlook the city. So before we get food, let's just quickly have a peek at what this looks like. So over there is the cricket stadium that we can see. And then I think we can still stand further up, eh? So. There we go. We're on the fort walls overlooking the city. Oh, once again, we don't have any barriers. Oh, so <laughs> it's, it's high pretty up. high. You don't want to fall off, yeah? But it's so nice how everything's so beautifully kept. The grass, the walls. It's so nice that the Sri Lankan people are busy keeping, like, how do you say well, it? Everything's like, just well maintained. Yeah, keeping everything well preserving maintained. Preserving the history. So we actually rode out of an entrance 
or an exit that side and rode all the way around and came in here with a bicycle <laughs> it was a far ride for that time of day because it was hot i mean my shirt is still sweaty <laughs> so i see over here there's actually a whole scale of the fort so if you had to have a bird's eye view this is what we'd be looking down on right now we're actually standing over here it says you are here now so over here is the clock tower with a massive entrance towards the city and then down there is where the lighthouse is that is where the lighthouse is and we're staying somewhere over here somewhere here somewhere there <laughs> This is really not a bad way to be spending a sunset right here on the fort walls of Goal. Probably the best place to watch a sunset here in Goal and the sunset has kind of distracted us from going to find food but I promise after this we'll go find food. You see all the waves crashing here against the fort walls. There's like a small beach actually with some stairs and then to my right we actually have an amazing hotel there that looks fantastic to go to so while we walk to our restaurant to get some Sri Lankan food we're walking down Pedler Street now and you can see a little bit of what it looks like in the evenings check out all the beautiful lights in the trees it just gives it a whole different feel compared to the day and it's so much cooler to walk around now as well so it's definitely a lot busier than it was earlier and here we've made it to coconut and sambal apparently they have some good sri lankan curry here and it's all you can eat so i'm definitely keen to try some it's a small little restaurant hi, hi man how are you <laughs> good <laughs> you can see they actually got a whole bunch of food already out they say that the owner makes all the food at this place and it's some really good Sri Lankan food hi man how are you doing well, good, thank I'm you. good thank you so much are you the chef yes. are you the chef eh? I heard there's really good food here thank you very much. so my expectations are very high yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the thank you so much give us give me less than 10 minutes no problem all the food here okay and it works as buffet okay it's like i give you a plate and i will explain you guys what we have okay. then you can try all and you can eat as much as you want that's how it works awesome oh, yeah? awesome Thank so you. give me less than 10 minutes to put the food here after that i will explain see he doesn't have a lot of place to sit i think there's one two three four five seats and we're literally here on the side of the road <laughs> he is making all the food now so I cannot wait to eat. We have not had lunch once again as normal. When we vlog, we never have lunch. We have a problem and we need to fix it. <laughs> oh, he's bringing some more out. Thank you. Thank you. So, cool. so you can have a look when I explain. Okay. Can come here. Okay, awesome. Have turmeric rice. Turmeric rice. Yeah, it's called turmeric rice. It's cooked with many different herbs and you, you get 12 ingredients only in the rice. Even if you smell, you will see it. Yeah. And the second one is traditional mango pineapple passion fruit curry. This is cooked with 80% trickle honey. Oh, mango passion fruit curry. Mango pineapple passion fruit. Yeah. That sounds and, good. Uh, Cooked with 80% trickle honey, it's a coconut honey. So oh, wow. you get five flavors sweet, sour, bitter, smoky, and spicy. This okay. is, comes like 27 ingredients many spices, many like onion, garlic, tomato. Wow, okay. And this is with beans and cabbage with virgin coconut oil and coconut milk. Sweet pumpkin, carrot, also cooked with like 10% of trickle honey. Coconut sambal the name of the restaurant <laughs> and organic chicken is the last one so i can so imagine that is the best one yes <laughs> <laughs> so until here it's like for vegetarian and vegan people okay the meat it. option is the last one and out of all of them which one's your favorite <laughs> almost everything <laughs> everything's your favorite eh? <laughs> what is this the ginger beer, the ginger beer. The, yeah one of oh. the favorite and main for me because it's take like long it's almost like one hour to cook to cook that, that eh? and running my mind very well to do you know like i have to make it equal between sweet sour bitter smoky and oh, I understand. Oh, awesome what's yeah. your name ifu ifu yes ifu very nice to meet you thank, thank you, you hey <laughs> oh this is nice and cold <laughs> oh it's even got what you put on top there did you put Black paper on paper. top Black, black, black pepper on top. Do we mix it in or just you take a try sip? first and after that you can mix it. Okay, you go first. Mm. 
Wow, that is really good. Really and you make this yourself? My boss. Your boss makes yes, it, that yeah? That is really refreshing. <laughs> I think that's Ooh. the passion fruit in your head. Yeah, I can taste that. That is one that. of the best ginger beers I think I've tasted. Yes. It's really good. Thank mm. you. Did you get everything that was there? I have a taster of everything. And what's great is we also have some vegetables. So something we've been lacking in our diet is some yes. vegetables. So <laughs> this looks good. I hear you guys supporting the vegetables. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so now that we have our two dishes, I think we can actually give some of this a try. Leanne's first. The one that stood out to me most is the mango one, just because it has so many flavors in it. He said that it's supposed to taste sweet, sour, spicy, all of that all in one bite, and it's made with honey, so I'm sure that would be great. So I'm just mixing it here with some of the rice. Mm. Wow, that is very different, but very, very good. As you keep chewing, you taste all the different spices in your mouth. But that is really, really good. I think I'm going to give the, the coconut one a try because that's the place's name. So I think that is the best. Leanne didn't bring me a <coughs> knife and fork. Knife and fork, so I'm going to have to use this. <laughs> Let's try. Mm, that is good. Oh, there's a lot of good flavors in here. Oh my gosh, that's really, really nice, eh? Thank you. And this is Thank absolutely you. delicious. We're even getting four pieces of chicken over here with some meat. Oh. Then I was gonna grab this with my hands, probably gonna be easier. Mm. Well, wow, there's a lot of flavor in here. Mm. Probably one of the best dishes I've had in Sri Lanka, to be honest. It feels homemade. I don't feel like I'm eating at a restaurant. I feel like I'm eating my mom's food. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like that for you? It does, but this coconut sambal is amazing. Well, that brings us to the end of our day here in Goal. We've got more of Sri Lanka to explore. So we're so excited for the weeks that lie ahead of us, but hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.